Oh, the center, and this is the IECL Season 2 Week 8 Battle, my rematch against Yams. And, oh, oops. And it's raining outside, so hopefully I don't get thunderstruck. Wink, wink, hint, hint, even though there's no... Actually, no, there's a Magnazone. I was about to say there's no electric type. And I'm going to start off with showing the team I brought last time against Yams, because I didn't show that in the team builder, my bad. And I brought the sweeping team with Lumberry Tornadus T for that Whimsicott with Stun Spore. Which honestly, I think that was pretty clever on my part. Originally I had Wide Lens. Then Damp Rock, Dank Rock, <laughs> Regarding Dance for support for Armaldo. Yeah, it was a really sweepy team from Empoleon to Armaldo to Tornadus. And then support from Lipard and Ambipom. And I'm going to have to be a little louder if I don't want that rain taking over. Like, my only defensive set was this Stratagon here. But this time around, I have way more defense. As you can see, from Florges to Dredagon, which is specially defensive for that Magnazone, to Empoleon. My real offense is Tornadus T and Heracross, which are my two best ways of beating him. So you saw the leads. Florges and Magnazone. My reason for leading Florges is if he led with Hitmontop, Umbreon, and Braviary, I would have trouble. Or no, it'd be a good lead for me. I have a switch into Magna Zone, and if he led with either Charizard X or Jinx, I would be in a bit of a tad bit of trouble. <laughs> uh, also, I'd like to note how he didn't bring Weezing, Suicune, and the Whimsicott, which were the three I was most afraid of. He didn't bring any of them, which shocked me that he didn't bring Whimsicott or Suicune. Did he bring last time? I don't think he did. No, I doubt he did. But that that Suicune actually swept me if he did bring it. And so I'm kind of glad he didn't bring it. He he didn't bring it because of my 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 my, my Mega Venusaur, which makes sense. But after a couple call mines, what is Mega Venusaur doing? <laughs> so I have an easy switch into this. He's Air Balloon. I want you to note that. He's Air Balloon. He Volt Switches. Because I wasn't staying in on Flash Cannon. He goes into this. I don't want to take a close combat. I go into my Resist to Fighting Types. Now that Toxic. You may think that Toxic may not matter. But <laughs> personally, I prefer the... Personally, it. I think it matters. And... <laughs> Smash jokes. Uh, because not only do I get a free Moon Blast off, but it also breaks his balloon, and he gets a special defense drop or special attack drop. And because if he did toxic me, I probably would have aromatherapy there. Well, there's no real way to tell what I would have done since it didn't happen. But I there's a good chance I could have aromatherapy. I go into my Dredagon, eats it like a champ. And when I was calcing, I didn't calc for the special attack drop. I do, in fact, go for rocks here. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I knew that as he saw that damage, I knew he wouldn't stay in. So I knew he would Volt Switch, which is why I predict the Volt Switch and go for Toxic. As he goes into this thing, and I'm like, yes, I got that prediction. Yes, yes. As you can see, Toxic's my Florges, and the reason I say I might have Aromatherapy is because I did right here. Even though I had an easy switch into Magnet Zone, as it is. And then he pulls out the Fire Punch. Now, okay, so the reason I went into Tornadus is because I needed everything else. I could not go, I could not afford going into Lipard on an attack. And then going down to Sash, and then him switching out, and now my Sash is gone, and I'm risking a lot against this Charizard X, which could sweep me. It was a very risky thing for me to do, but so I needed Empoleon for that Magna Zone, even though I did have Dredagon, so Empoleon was probably an ideal switch in, but again, he has a Jinx, which I need Empoleon for, because it's kind of my best way of handling it. Then there's Heracross. I need Heracross no matter what. Dredagon is good to have for the Magnezone, plus I don't want to switch in on a D-Claw. And then Flare Blitz is doing well over half the floor just so I couldn't switch it in. 
Or I couldn't stand, I mean. And if we decided to Dragon Dance, I'd be in a bad situation. So I went into Tornadus, figuring this is probably my best sack. He pulls out Fire Punch and gets the burn, and I'm like, what? I don't calc the Fire Punch thing. Now, as you can see, Hurricane does a little bit. I knew I would survive, which is why I went for Hurricane. And if I needed to, I could just switch out with for Regenerator. He taunts here on my Switch, which I thought was amazing of a prediction. Because I was going to set up rocks as I switched in Drodagon. But no, he decides to taunt, which I'm like, whoa, I was blown away. And I'm realizing just now, wow, taunt. I hate taunt. <laughs> it made me lose week two or three. I don't remember. I think it was week two against Jose because taunt heat rip. Dang it. Ugh. Makes me angry. I'm forced to switch. I got some lefty recovers, though. He goes for foul play on my hair cross, which does a lot, even though it's resisted, because it's a hair cross. This thing has monster attack. I go for close combat. Even if I had rocks, it wouldn't have mattered. He would live on 1%, surprisingly. Enough. But yeah, as you can see, that, that did not do as much as I expected it to. I did some calcs, I could not figure it out. Or, I figured out he's max HP. And then I don't want to risk him trying to outspeed, like speed creeping my hair cross, so I do in fact switch out. I go into hair cross on the U-turn. Now I can get a really huge chunk, good chunk amount of damage on something, because I'm choice banded. He goes into this, okay, too many things are happening. I go into Tornadus, I want to force the switch out on the Charizard X. I knew it would go into Umbreon, I U-turn on the Umbreon, go into Heracross, force him to switch again, and force something to take heavy damage. Okay, that's what happened. He goes into this. He, he reveals Rocky Helmet, I go into Florges on the close combat. I don't know what my plan was there. I think he knew he couldn't Toxic because he risked me being Guts. Aromatherapy the burn, that was my goal. Okay. Even though I could have set up rocks there, but I didn't want to take a close combat with my Dredagon. He goes for Flash Cannon, which does a lot more without the special tech drop. And I was a little surprised. It brings in this thing now, on my rocks. And... Yeah. Mm -hmm, I knew he would wrap its spin, and I wanted rocks up, so... Now here... I had no idea what to do. No, I did. I went for Toxic. I risked him being Scarf or Bandit or something. But now... Now I don't know what to do. What I could do is stay in and detail this thing. Is that what I have? No, I can Iron Head, break a sub. But if I do that and he ends up being bulk up, I am in a terrible, terrible position. I don't want to go into Empoleon on a superpower. Not into Heracross on a Brave Bird. No, Heracross is worst case. No, Heracross is the worst thing to bring in. I don't want to take a heavy hit with Florges. And I don't want to sack Tornadus here, because Tornadus ain't accomplishing much as it is. So, I have Sash on my part, and I'm thinking, if this thing starts bulking up, I am so screwed. I cannot risk him start to sell up, so I have to go into Lipard. He goes for Brave Bird. But now, since I have Sash, I can break this thing sub on... Yeah. I can break his sub at the sacrifice of Lipard. He ends up being Life Orb, which is kind of big. That he is in Sheer Force. Because now my U-turn kills. And then I can go into... What do I go into? Empoleon. There. I want to bring it in the Magnazone. Now, remember, he was Air Balloon Magnazone. So I thought, okay, he won't be that one move. He won't be. He is. He's Magnet Rise. Why? He, hams. he really did not want to be on the ground, that guy. Well, Conberry saves me from the T-Bolts, and it, it is not a 2 KO. But, yeah, I'm in Torrent range now. And it was a 3 hit KO, thanks to the thing. Uh, honestly... Me just going for Scald was kind of risky in my part. Because he could have easily gone into Jinx and I, was, I just thoughtlessly clicked Scald. 
I guess he thought let's see. He thought Thunderbolt would kill. But no. Not with Conberry. U-turn is easily gonna kill that Jinx. Or if it didn't, then the next one would. <laughs> I also risked him being a scarf jinx, because he didn't reveal life orb. Now he has to sack something, he sacks this. And here I'm thinking, alright, what do I do? Well, there was no nothing else I could do. I know I don't outspeed the Jinx, and if this is outspeeding my Heracross, then what's gonna what's the point of keeping it around, you know? So I might as well just stay in home for the best. He is in fact speed creeping and I, I'm i just confused at this point. I miss Hurricane on the first one that actually mattered in a while. And then I decided I should switch because I can try to get another Hurricane off later. I go into this on the Fire Punch. Yeah. I go for Earthquake. That was a misplay on my part. Going for Earthquake. I should have gone for Toxic immediately. Because at this point I knew he was bulky for Heracross, but as you can see I go for the Toxic there. He goes for Roost as I start Earthquaking again. Now, now is when I should Earthquake. And the reason I think the Earthquake I should have toxic before was because, watch, now Psychic from my Tornado's T kills this thing. Yeah, it kills this thing. And then Tornadus T can sweep. If he had roosted one more time instead of going for that fire punch, like turn, what was it, 37? If he roosted turn 37, he had a decent shot at this, actually. Because I had to risk Hurricane again. But if I hit it, then it didn't matter in the end. <laughs> but yeah, Sheer Force. The the three turns that mattered in my opinion was the Magnet Zone going for a Flash Cannon, or no, missing Toxic, not going for Roost and going for Fire Punch, and Sheer Force, or not being Sheer Force Braviary. But yeah, I end up winning 2-0, Tornadus gets three kills, which is the Jinx, the Charizard, and the... I forgot, Braviary, Braviary, that's it. Thanks for watching, as I, yeah, I am now 5 and something, 5 and 3, and if I win my next match against Jose, I am in playoffs, yay!